Hello, this is Artsy Wisdom. My name is Diane. Thank you for coming by. I'm back at the lake. Got some rest. Buttons is doing well. Those of you who saw my last video, our little puppy, she had dental surgery, lost 16 teeth, and she's just bouncing around like nothing happened. Dogs are so adaptable, and the tongue isn't coming out the side of her mouth anymore. <laughs> so that's good. Um, yeah, so we just have to give her soft food, but that's it. Today, I'm going to get into a Trump, Donald Trump, his perspective. I got into his energy, got into his past lives. I looked into his court cases and Judge Mershon and Chutkin and Jack Smith to see what was going to happen there. I'm going to pull some cards, but I already did some uh, deep dives into that energy. I'm going to share that with you. Now, in the past, two videos ago, I uh, did one on if Part of it, the segment was on if they were going to debate he and Harris. And I didn't feel like he would at the time. I did say, though, unless something really big changes or happens, I forget what that would be. I was thinking more in the line of his people wouldn't let him really because they saw that he might fail, flail around and not look good in comparison to her because he would look older. But I think because of his um, polling or the big change that happened uh, on top of the polling and on top of the energy that she just blew up with was Tim Walz and his energy that he brought to the campaign. And it freaks Trump out a little bit or a lot. So I think that's why he feels like he has no choice. He wants to get out there. So he's going to say yes to the debate so far. What I read is that, yes, he said on ABC on the 10th of September, yet he keeps saying he wants it on Fox and there's other two channels, NBC, and I think that was it. Uh, and she's fine. She said, I'll go anywhere, but I guess Fox is out of the question. We'll see. So there's still a lot of moving parts. It's still in flux, like free will is. Free will takes us in a direction, universe's energy, spirit's energy, God's energy, generally pushes us in a direction and it's up to us to follow along to fight it to learn and yeah now i'm gonna look into it i'm gonna pull some cards again just kind of revisit that and on his other stuff like i told you let's that brazilian plane went down with 62 people on board and that's so sad and so hopefully we can all send a prayer out to those families of those who passed away in the plane crash and nobody wants to lose a loved one and it's just so very sad and I hate to hear that kind of thing the other sad news is we had we had a big wildfire in Jasper National Park and firefighters came from all over international Mexico South Africa and also the ones locally um, we had a young firefighter die he a tree fell on him he's only like 25 so that's sad too um yeah when you're reminded it, you know it helps you re remind you that life is so precious and that you should um love every single day you're above the grass grass every day you're taking a breath and you're here regardless of all the crazy we're still together okay all right let's get started <laughs> Okay, now, first of all, thank you very much for all my lovely commenters, viewers, likes, and shares. You guys are awesome. It makes me feel really good. Continue to do so. That would be awesome. Thank you. Uh, all right, so the first thing I'm going to do is tell you about what I saw. When I get into Trump's energy, we're going to start there, go into the court cases later. So what I saw him doing well, let's start with this. Yesterday's rambling speech was like 93 minutes, I guess. He went all over the place uh, telling, saying how she's incompetent. He's still mad that Biden's not in it. So he's kind of stuck. And that reminds me of my grandmother. She's passed away now. But she, when you have a little dementia, it's hard to break out of that cycle you repeat and repeat in your head it's like this is my reality this is my reality why isn't that happening why isn't that happening so 
I feel like that's kind of happening for him. Plus, plus, he is really pissed off that he's not going against Biden. And now he's going against this phenom, strangely new, vibrant vice president and her uh, vice president candidate, Tim Walz, Minnesota governor. So the polling is freaking him out because he's losing. It's getting closer. And in some states, she's ahead. He's still ahead in a few. But and polls, you know, we know that they're not always accurate. But that part is scaring him. So the thing with all of this is, let me start where I'm going into his energy. And I see all these people milling about, milling around him. And those are his, I feel like those are his people, his staff. And I feel like they're, they're putting things in front of him, papers, ideas, you know, they're all talking, you know, it's probably his sons are there too. And they're given ideas and trying to be gung-ho and everything's great and because they need him to be amped up because he's been kind of down and especially at that speech last night I don't know if you guys noticed this but he looked pale and I don't know if he didn't get his tanning treatment but he looked older and tired um I I almost was like I felt sorry for him a little bit I was like oh even though you know he's Trump so he makes me mad but he he's an elderly man who looked like he was kind of flailing or not kind of he was flailing he was trying to be strong and show his strength and misstating situations in a helicopter crash that did it or not helicopter crash but near helicopter crash with Willie Brown when it was Jerry Brown the governor of California anyway his memory is is kind of all over a little mishmashy but as you remember his cake is melting so it's kind of oozing a little bit but I think what that was about is him trying to grasp again with the debate he will try and get his name you know all publicity is good publicity all publicity is good publicity in his mind even negative stuff. So he thinks if he gets out on the stage, his name will still be in the newspapers, it'll still be online, it'll still be out there. Even though people, um, you know, he might make a fool of himself at moments, his people, the MAGA people, the Trumpers, won't take it to heart. They'll still see him as okay and all right. Yeah, he made a mistake. It's fine. It's fine. So he's going to do that. Um, he wants to do that, actually. He's saying he wants to do that. I feel like as those people are milling about him, actually, I feel like they're saying, sure, go, boss, go. Yeah, you could do that. You could do that if you think it's, if you think it's, oh my goodness, these are all flying. You should be able to do that. You should be able to tell her how you feel. Get out there. And they'll try and prep them as much as they can. But let me pull a couple on the debate because I don't think... Um, See, I see the debate is kind of like a bubble around it. She's over here. He's here. He's in front of him, but there's like a bubble or a protection. Like he, he hasn't, like he's not like embracing it. It's sort of like, it's right in front of me, but it's like a hazy bubble in front of it. Like he hasn't committed to it, even though he says he has. You know, he plays. He plays with the marketing. He plays with the branding. He plays with what he says. He can make an excuse and change his mind. Because it won't be on Fox. He might say, okay, now. Gosh. Okay, I'm going to pull some cards. Because I see that bubble. But she's over here. Interesting. Will he debate? Well, Trump debate. Well, I know he's... It's, it's funny. I don't think he's scared of her. King of Cups. Six of Swords. Hmm. Ship. And I see... So, Five of Cups. Or, I'm sorry. King of Cups. This is a water sign. This isn't him. 
This is a, an emotional mature man. So he's emotional about it. Six of Swords is moving on from rough to calm waters. See him floating away. Uh, I think, see the anchor? He wants to set anchor. He wants to be known again and be popular and win because he's got, I'll go into that too in a second. He's got a lot of troubles ahead. And Five of Cups, which this, even though this is a woe is me look this is I don't I have these two flowers but I'm only looking at those ones that are floating around and I can't have those it reminds me of someone who doesn't see the reality of things which it is it's like focused on the negative I think that's where he is he's focused on the negative and the debate he's the calculus is he thinks he can as he always done, has always done, and that is to, um, oh, there's another king. There's two king of cups in here, and I got both, and then the queen of cups. Wow. There's two in this particular deck. There's the other king of cups. I feel like that might be Kamala. And that is his little ship she's holding. She's a Gemini, or she's a um, Gemini, yeah, or Libra, no, Libra, and uh, so that's not her. This is about him. Hmm. I think there's too many moving parts. I think if he's got the, the uh, cheering squad right around him, cheer squad, the pep group, the cheerleaders all around him, and he's they tell him things he wants to hear because he's so upset right now and almost like they're unrealistic it's like telling the um the emperor that has no clothes that kind of thing because they want to get through this period of time okay he i think it's still in flex i think he will go through with one now that i've looked at those cards and i don't think i don't think he has a choice i think he feels like he has to because he needs to bring up some lively energy. And if they're bantering back on or yelling at each other on the stage at this point, he's getting, he's going to get views and he's going to, or views or viewership or people will watch him. Although I think he's going to, as the outcome, he will look more older. He will, as we know, he does not tell the truth. So I wonder how she'll do with that. But, hmm. I think it's going to make her crazy and she might go, this is nuts because it makes no sense because this is about thinking. So but maybe it'll be harder on her. I did see that before. I didn't mention it, that I did see her. She's so smart and articulate as a lawyer, but I think he's like a showman. He's like the carnival barker. I think he can say things in a way that will like go, what? She'll be like, what? That makes no sense. Maybe she'll be too logical in a way. It kind of throws her off. Maybe. I think that's a possibility. Okay. Um, all right. So when I saw him at the rambling press conference yesterday, I saw the elderly man who was pale and I saw him having lack of focus and I think the reason that he is changing or shifting his perception of how he is in this race is of obviously the Harris Walls energy and the crowd size it's driving him bonkers her crowd sizes he always loves that crowd size it's always about size money tallest building goldest name um, and he can't deal with that. So I see him also, I think the assassination attempt is slowly, slowly working its way as well. And he's trying to just like put it in the back of his mind. But I think that his energy from that is, it's like a deep fear and he's got lots of protection now, I'm sure, more than ever. But for him, I think it's it's freaking him out a little bit as well. But he needs 
to be at the president to avoid all of his criminal um, sentencing, his punishments for all the things he's done. Yeah. Accused of doing. Excuse me. He's accused. He hasn't been proven guilty yet, except for the hush money and the campaign financing. So um, the next thing. So Jack Smith uh, asked for uh, a continuance or delayed hearing because... Judge Tanya Chutkin, the one that is overseeing the January 6th um, prosecution or trial that's been appealed, she, because of the Supreme Court made their ruling, she wants both sides to come to her on the, on the 16th. They want to and sh talk about how you propose to talk about the immunity Supreme Court opinion on and how that would affect the case. Well, Jack Smith came and said, he submitted a, um, whatever it is, you submit an application to change it, to delay the, because of that situation. They have, they need time, not just him, but his people. And they need time to understand what the immunity clause or presidential immunity versus personal immunity is with the Supreme Court decision. So they extended it to the 30th. So for um, Trump, August, August 30th, right now, they'll appeal, I'm sure, and everything and try to push it back. And it won't happen before the election. But at least they're really being thoughtful and thorough. And in the past, I've seen Jack Smith and his apple pie. He uh, is very pointed and he's going to like target like an arrow, the thing that needs to get to its target, target like an arrow. Yeah. And so he's going to shoot an arrow at the target, which is getting a prosecution and they may have to narrow it very very sharply to get it there and not try and get everything but maybe just something so I think that's what they're working on what's the most likely prosecution success all right and what won't be tonight all right so then Judge Bershon you guys all probably all know these things you can watch the news but I'm doing it in my, in my mind, Judge Mershon, my dark chocolate backstop, very firm, doesn't back down, good, sober, law-abiding justice. Apparently, his daughter uh, worked for a Democratic committee once, and he gave, like six years ago, he gave Biden $15 or something. So they want him to recuse himself. I think they've tried several times for him to do that. So he will look into that next week. And then after that, he's going to do a ruling on the new immunity decision by the Supreme Court on the 16th. And I was listening to um, Glenn Kirshner, and he was saying it gives them, gives the Trump team uh, hope that maybe if they're giving him those two days, he won't sentence Trump because he's supposed to sentence him on the 18th. So I, he's, uh, Glenn Kirshner says it, it gives him a tiny bit of hope, but it's very, probably not going to happen, he said. Um, I do think, I'm, look, I'm getting into Mershon's energy, and his energy is so, like I said, strong and hard, and, um, but good, and quality, and He's thoughtful, and he has a lot of things he's working on. Like in the past, I've seen him doing a lot of paperwork, or I felt like his energy, and I got in his paperwork. And I see that happening. And But he's not going to back down. He's reading the law. He's following the law. He's executing what is necessary for the law, and that's where he's going. So I think Trump will get sentenced. You know, I think it got extended this time to the 18th because of the convention. But I think he'll get sentenced by the 18th unless something different happens and free will occurs. I don't know. But or like some other lawful, th unlawful thing or somebody requests something. But no, I think he will get sentenced on the 18th. They'll appeal, appeal it, of course. But all right. Um, I When I looked into... Trump's past lives in this life before I get back there 
he lives in an ego plane. That's where he is. Energy is ego. And his karma is coming from a period of time when he in his past life that I saw, I saw two. And I talked about his one in the, the one that I think is most related to now. He was in a German, either a POW camp or he was Polish or during early, early World War Two, And um, he got killed. He was thinner. So I don't know if it was a POW camp or concentration camp, but he got very thin and he died. And he came back right away because I think he's born in 46. And if a person in past lives, if you die of an accident or very young or something where you're not having to process as much as somebody who's lived a long life or has a lot of issues and that kind of thing, sometimes accidents, you come back right away to kind of start back up again. I mean, that's the theory anyway. Anyway, so I think he did. I think he came back right away. And... He also was in a past life. I saw him as, this is like, in, I don't know, 18, 1700, somewhere in there. He's a farmer, just a regular dude, but he felt weak from the powers that be. Maybe it was a feudal situation where he was a serf or he was leasing the land and they took it from him. Maybe it was Ireland or something like that. Or somewhere where he felt no one, or maybe it was Africa. Why am I thinking in Africa? Anyway, powerless. He was powerless. Worked his life, working the land. And they took it away from him. And he had nothing. And he was so angry. And he felt weak and powerless and vulnerable. And again, in the life in Germany or Poland or whenever it was in World War II, I saw him feeling... Like in the, I don't know if it was the moment he died, because a lot of times you can go to the moment you're dying and you see your lesson. You see what you were supposed to learn in that life and how it relates to this life. So when you do past life regression, it's so very uh, effective to understand what this soul contract's about and what maybe the karma is or what you're supposed to learn in that life that maybe you can bring forward and heal. So for him, I felt those two lives. He was weak and powerless. And the, especially the second one, angry. And I think he came into this lifetime and this spiritual experience with his soul family, who I think it's his mother, by the way. He uh, came in wealthy and powerful. And I think, I feel as if his energy was to learn how to balance power with weakness or strength and how to make that not so extreme his karma is to understand strength and power versus weakness and being powerful in a vulnerable way and I think he got some um, choices early on he made decisions early on and because it was influenced by his family obviously and his father who was I guess, dominant and really horrible. Again, another powerful person making you feel weak and powerless. And he pushed back and became that, right? So I also saw that he is never letting anybody do that to him because of those experiences from that life. But I also saw that I, when I sat in his energy and I asked, I asked my divine guides who give me, direct me, they said that he didn't have a mother. I know he had a mother because he was born, but either I think she was either mentally ill or not available or whatever. And I think that left a hole in him because, oh, I know it was Mary, Mother Mary and Jesus. They said that he didn't have that. He had left a hole in him again. So he has another one, like uh, other, you know, when you have karmic patterns, they're always not just one thing you're li learning in this life. It may be multiple things, layers of things. And for him, that's one of them is to heal the hole in his heart 
but he's filling it up with gold and shiny things and lots of money and the power again. So his is complicated, but it, but because he's living in an egoic plane in this life and not in a spiritual plane, he can't, he can't be aware of it. So again, guess what? It's a redo. It's a mulligan. He's going to, unless he has an epiphany, unless he has some sort of redemptive moment at the end of his life where he understands it, and it's possible. Miracles happen every day. But I think he's still processing the long lives that he, it, because he was damaged as a kid, you know, we have a physical body and our mental and our emotional and spiritual, he was pretty damaged. So it's hard to, to get past that to be spiritual. Although a lot of people do for him, it, he didn't. So he is got this journey and we're just on it with him. <laughs> so you can, you know, I feel sympathetic towards anybody who's suffering there's a, a line when your suffering ends and my needs don't get met, <laughs> you know, when I, I, when you're taking away my life, then that changes, you know, if you're affecting my needs, then that's, I can be sympathetic, but that's as far as it goes as another human, you know, it's good to be sympathetic. I think it's bad karma on our part to just wish everybody ill. We just want people to be good humans, right? That'd be a great idea. But what I, the last thing I wanted to end on was, um, when I'm in my energy, I, I look onto a field for me. And I'm in this divine, gui divinely guided place where spiritual um, energies come to me and show me different things. And it's shifted over the years. And my spirit guides come and talk to me about stuff. And they point to things. Not usually talking. They're usually pointing and showing me things. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> It's probably nothing you need to know except for the fact, this is the important part, is I'm looking on this valley and I'm seeing and I'm moving through and I'm up kind of high and I'm mid range and it's a big valley and there's some hills or mountains around and I'm shown to like there's a bubble or a, a dusting of lovely sparkly energy over this valley and I took that as my viewers or people that see this or whoever that the energy of our human experience and maybe it's more of the United States well, we're all connected so it's everybody but I saw this bubble of like sparkly light where it was protected and it was like sparkly pink sparkles going over over the entire valley it was huge and I was like, what is that about? I feel like we need to keep fighting and be strong and, and take care of our world and don't let greed and power make our choices, you know, um, put people in power that are uh, humane and thoughtful and considerate of everything and everyone. And what I got was that because of everybody's raising their vibration, everyone's praying, everybody is living in a state of love. This is like a divine protection. That energy, I saw that as a funny thing, but the Kamala, Kamala and Walls, Harris and Walls ticket is why it's so exciting because we feel that energy, that positivity. And I feel like that dome or that haze of sparkle and positivity and light is from the divine from God but it's us attracting that it's us raising our vibration to bring that in and to believe that most people are good most people want the best for their families and each other you just have a lot of noisy ones that take the attention but the greater good will prevail that was the feeling I got. So it was beautiful. It was really lovely. And I wanted to end on that. Doesn't mean we can be complacent. It doesn't mean it's all on a planet. We're animals and we have to be considerate of what's happening here. But I just wanted to say whatever work you're doing, it's working. It's working. So, all right. Well, you guys take care. Till next time.